Hey guys, Hijinx187, RGH Discord. Wanted to um, go over LaunchBox setup on the RG552 here from Ambernick. Um, as many of you know, I think this device should be $199. So just want to throw that out there. If you're paying more than $199, don't wait till they bring this device down. Should be $199. That's the price I recommend you pick this up at. I think you'll be able to find that um, right around Lunar New Year. So sometime in February is what I'm hoping they'll bring it. Bring it down, provide some coupons. Get this for $199. I think it's a good deal at $199. All right, so without further ado, here's LaunchBox. I've got this set up on my Aya Neo. Love it. It is a little bit different, so this is a different build uh, from the PC version. Um, this doesn't allow for themes, so what you get out of the box is what you get here. Um, you're not going to be able to theme this out. They are bringing some of those updates uh, into the future, but for right now, this is what you get. Um, looks good enough. You can change out these images if you wanted to uh, create your own custom images here. But out of the box, this is what it'll look like. And I've got several different uh, systems loaded up. Some of you know I'm not going to um, I'm not going to build this out uh, fully. So I'm not going to kitchen sink my Android side. I'm going to do that over on the Linux side. So here I'm just going to have uh, some of the harder to emulate systems. And you can kind of see that represented here. Uh, don't have any GameCube, don't have any PS2. Those don't run very well in this device, period. Uh, but I've got just about everything else. Sega Saturn runs great. Uh, N64, Dreamcast do as well. Let me take you into one of these profiles. So if we click into N64, uh, and then, so you've got, you've got the ability to customize this next level. I've got it set up for genres. So you see all of the different um, genres here. If I go into, let's say, puzzle, for instance, you're going to see just the list of puzzle games or what they, I don't know that Banjo-Kazooie is a puzzle game, honestly, but a lot of puzzle games here. I'm sure you could go in and retool that. It's based on the met metadata that it's pulling out. Um, or just more traditionally, you could just slide over and do uh, all games. Uh, somebody was asking me about... Uh, large collections, how it handles large collections. I think it does fine, honestly. Uh, what you're seeing here is you see the background data, uh, the background video scraped from Emu Movies, and you've got the wheel art, you've got the box art. Um, you can scroll down, you can use your hands, you can also use the controller. Scrolls fast. So I'm not getting any lag here. If I stop, you'll see Kirby's video. Very smooth, very fast. Um, if we wanted to go in, let's see if we can try one of these. Something that I know will work halfway decent. So let's do Mario Kart. So we'll launch it. It's gonna pull up Moopin. So really smooth transition. And then to get back, we're just gonna swipe up and swipe that away and we can get right back to launch box. Now there's a bug in the beta. So this is the beta version of Android. And there's a bug where videos will keep playing even after you've switched into the emulator and they'll, they'll play for like two or three minutes um, before they finally shut off. And so to get around that, I uh, went into developer options and there's a, uh, a toggle to kill background tasks without activity. Um, so you just want to set that and that will... That'll silence LaunchBox as you're transitioning to um, whatever emulator you're working with. Uh, so for like large collections, so I've got the full American GBC collection here. If you go in 
huge collection. I got all the videos. I've got all the art. No issues at all loading this. Came in really fast. Very smooth to navigate through. And then same for Game Boy Advance. Another really big collection here. Very smooth. No issues with the videos. No issues with the art. And then if we want to, let's just try like one of these Army Men games. So right into RetroArch. And I, I haven't, I haven't gone through and configured um, all of these emulators yet. So I've still got some work to do on that side. I just wanted to give you a kind of a preview of what this looks like. Um, come on. There we go. So let me close out and I'll just walk you through a little bit of the... Uh, of the options here so in launchbox if you wanted to uh to do imports you would just click here you would go to um, well here's options so you can see with options you can go in and customize set up your um mu mu movies login and want to import games How you would do that. Set up what, what games to import, what folder, what platform. And, and that's about it. I mean, there's not, there's not a, a, a whole lot more to show. I guess if I could go into like if you wanted to change the view, I mean, this, honestly, this banners view is the best you're going to get. But you've got some other options here if you just want a text-based view. I don't know why you would want to do that. I think it defeats some of the purpose of a front end. But you could simplify this down, get rid of the art, just have the, just have the ROMs. Anyway, I uh, hope this was helpful. And I will uh, see you guys on the next video.